shot. Did you guys see that light behind me? What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video. Uh, I got a couple different things planned for this video, but first we are at my uh, local shooting range, Bayou Dragon. It is outside of New Orleans. I actually don't know what the name of this town is that I'm in right now, um, but I got a new gun. It's a uh, 300 Blackout AR-15, so I haven't shot it yet. This is the first time that I'm gonna shoot it. I just got permission that I can bring my camera in and film inside. We can do a little bit of shooting, start off the video. Also, while we're here, you know, you could just hit the like button real quick. You could do it. You could hit the bell. You could comment down below. You ever shot a 300 Blackout? You could, I'm not saying you have to. So, I might be talking a little bit loud. That's because uh, I can't hear, obviously, but I've got my target set up, it's right there. I'm gonna uh, send it back right now. Trying to go back. This is like a home defense um, 300 Blackout, so I'm not going back too, too far. You guys can see, that might be like, maybe 10-ish yards, maybe a little over, maybe 15 yards. Um, gotta get the gun out, get it loaded up, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we will uh, get shooting. You guys probably wanna see the gun too, huh? It's a Franklin Armory AR-15. Um, pretty nice, little red dot sight. You guys probably can't see that too well. But uh, yeah, you know, just basic stuff, adjustable stock. This is a little bit too far forward, probably not gonna use that, just gonna C-grip it. But uh, yeah, okay, now let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back, see where that hit, uh, so I know what adjustments to make on the red dot side. So I was aiming for dead center, and we hit just a little bit low and to the right. Gonna make a couple quick adjustments, and then we will uh, do that again. All right, made a quick adjustment, now let's see if we can get a little bit better. I So I was wondering, I was making adjustments and like my grouping is super good. I'll show you guys my grouping real quick. Pretty nice aside from a couple shots, but it wasn't really moving. Yeah, you gotta, uh, you gotta take off the plastic caps that are on the red dot sight. This is a pretty cheap red dot sight, so I figured they were just adjustable, but you still gotta take them off and then move it. Uh, so I'm gonna do that, actually adjust it, and then we'll try again. Uh, now I got her in pretty good. So now we're just gonna shoot the rest of the rounds we have. Not sure quite how many it is left. Just gonna kinda send it. you guys the damage. So those middle two were the last two that I said when it was good to go. And then right down there, that was my last little barrage. But now I'm gonna load up and uh, bring you guys to the main event of this video. This is our next adventure. Uh, I know it doesn't look like much, but I came here one other time, saw a bunch of alligators and some venomous snakes and some non-venomous snakes. Uh, so I'm hoping we get that lucky again. This is, and I'm gonna butcher the name, Bayou Co Coquile is what it looks like to me. But uh, that right there. And it is in the Barataria Swamp here in Louisiana. Um, it is beautiful, like this place is just, it's awesome. And I'm here late enough that like probably no one else is gonna be here. Um, Basically just gonna walk around, get some pretty shots, look for some animals. Uh, like I said, hopefully, I'd really like to find a cottonmouth, copperhead, maybe a couple alligators. I uh, got on my rubber boots today, so, you know, if I need to do some uh, off-trail exploring, I'm willing to do it for y'all. Um, and you guys are gonna make fun of me, probably. I have a bug net for my hat, for my head. I don't like when stuff flies by my ears. Um, or near my face in general. I just I can't like it freaks me out and the last time I came here I about had a panic attack uh, Well, there was another person right there, and he caught me completely off guard. That's why I stopped recording so fast uh, He honestly kind of scared me a little bit and there is another person right here, too So maybe there's a few people out here, but I plan on staying until nighttime, so See if we can find anything cool So I was totally hoping that I would find one of these spiders and it would be in a spot that I'd be able to show you guys because I only have the wide lens uh, with me right now but dude, these guys make such huge webs and they look like I want to say terrifying, but so cool at the same time. Uh, I'll flip you guys around so you can see what I'm talking about. There it is right there. How cool is that? 
Uh, I've already gotten two mosquito bites. I've only been here for five minutes, so the uh, the net is going on. Let's let's get this on, so you guys can just make fun of me and get it out of the way. So boom, I look like a uh, a wannabe beekeeper, but uh, you know, whatever. I don't even care because I'm not gonna have mosquito bites on my face, neck, and ears, and that's gonna make me happier. So you know how I feel about bugs, but this is the first cool thing that I found, and they are everywhere out in this swamp. Like I found, there's literally one, two, three right here. Um, I'm not gonna pick it up just because it's huge and you know mildly scary, but like look at that guy compared to my finger. Like that's insane. He's ginormous. One right there, literally right here. There, oh, he hopped. I think it's just a grasshopper, but I don't know. They might bite or something. And there's another one right there. Look, they don't hop very good though. I'm not gonna lie, for as big as they are. And if you're, oh God, I look like a fool. If you guys were curious, uh, yes, it is very, very warm. Um, I am definitely sweating inside of this thing. But uh, you know, it's what I do for you guys. Give me a like, comment what you thought so far. Would you ever walk through a swamp just to look for alligators for YouTube, for the interwebs, because I know I would. And get tortured by mosquitoes too. I can't really stop, because they like swarm me. Let's find a damn snake, all right? All right guys, so you probably can't see it, but there is a snake right here. I just, I'm not close enough to it to see what it is. So I don't want to just grab it. Oh, it's just a corn snake. Damn it, it fell. Can you guys see him? He's right like in the middle of the frame, just slithering away. He was on the boardwalk though. Damn. I wanted to show you guys while well, I had him just in case he slithered away, but I mean, hey, at least you guys gotta see him. Pretty sure that was a corn snake, or a rat snake maybe. Small though, way too small. I'm gonna keep on going. The last time I was here, I found a, a decent sized cotton mouth, so I'm hoping that's what I can find. Something like that again this time, but that was still pretty far down this path. Come on guys, you cannot tell me this is not beautiful. Like, the Spanish moss all down the trail, these lilies and everything, or not lilies, I don't know what they are, but like, this place is just incredible, dude. Like, look at that. So amazing. And then, you know, the Liquid Land, Audio Tour, uh, alligators, alligators. Right up here is where I found that cotton mouth, so maybe he frequents the same areas, and uh, maybe I'll be, up, be able to find him again right now. Wish me some good luck, because I feel like I need it. Unfortunately, still no luck, and uh, I'm getting tore up by mosquitoes. But I'm definitely not going to give up. Also, look at this. This is a trail from something sludging through there. I wonder what that is. Deer? Maybe wild boar? Because it's definitely it's like pushed down. That's not just from water running through there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep chugging along. Hopefully I'll find something. Uh, don't feed the alligators, evidently. Uh, I do think that I found another snake, but I, I wasn't 100% sure I didn't see it. I just heard a rustle and it sounded like what a snake would sound like. But uh, I'm gonna take a picture of this real quick. So I think it's pretty, um, I'll throw it right here. It's not a snake, but there's a, probably like a four foot alligator right here. He is in the water, um, but he's only like maybe six feet off to my left. Not sure how well you guys can see him. Let me see if I can zoom in on him a little bit. See him? Dead center in the frame. It's not very big. Right there. See, I'll try to get a little bit closer to him. I don't want to get too, too close, but look at that. Wow, he does not care about me at all. I feel like I could probably grab him and he would be cool with it. But like, that's me all the way zoomed out. I'm not very far from him whatsoever. But again, every time I stop, yeah, wow, well, he doesn't care about me even a little bit. I'm trying to like watch my back, make sure one isn't sneaking up on me. That's pretty sweet. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going for a little bit longer, but I'm literally getting like tore up by mosquitoes right now. Um, but I want to find a snake, so I'm gonna try to do it for you. It is also starting to get dark, but I mean, hey, at least we got you know 
a couple feet away from a gator. That was pretty sweet. So I'm not gonna lie. I thought the uh, beginning of this walk was, was beautiful. This spot's got nothing on it. I've walked pretty far, probably gone a couple miles, but uh, take a look at that. It's like all grasslands. I'm assuming this is all swamp, but I mean, this is just, it's beautiful. I had no idea something like this was here. Kind of blown away, but I, uh, I am gonna turn around and go back now, guys. The sun is, as you can see, it has officially set. Um, and I've probably got about an hour walk back, which means it's probably gonna be relatively dark by the, uh, by the time that I get back to where my car is. I said, luckily I do have a light. Oh, there's another gator. You guys probably can't see him, but he's way down there. Super pretty area. The swamp is definitely gonna come alive at nighttime. More mosquitoes, more scary bugs, those big ass spiders. Some of those spiders are big enough to take out a bird. Like I'm just saying it, they are huge enormous. You can walk that way too. Maybe another day I can come back here and you know, wear some, some, um, what's that stuff called? So mosquitoes don't bite you? Bug spray. Uh, yeah, wear some bug spray because I'm getting tore up left and right. I'm still 100% looking for snakes though. I have not given up. Um, I honestly, I want to keep going, but I don't want to be out here when it's pitch black. Uh, it's just like, it's beautiful, but it's kind of scary. You know what I'm saying? I'm also going to throw the, uh, the microphone in my backpack and get my light on. So it's going to help me uh, see and look out for snakes and alligators and whatever else. But for now, we are going to uh, continue our adventure back to the car. It's not scary, but like, you know, they, they say like you can feel something watching you. Like, I feel like I'm being stalked, and I know I'm not. I know that's like unrealistic, but it's just kind of what it feels like, <laughs> which is, I know it's goofy. Here's another kind of cool frog. I'm not sure what he is exactly. Um, kind of, it looks kind of weird. I'm trying to get the lighting good. It looks kind of weird. It's not like a normal frog look. Still super cool though. Uh, yeah, definitely some sort of tree frog. Very sticky hands. Oh yeah, that guy's pretty sweet. And uh, if you guys were curious what my light situation right now is like without the light on, that's where we are at. So, pretty dark, pretty dark. But uh, gonna keep, go ahead. But uh, yeah, still got a, a decent ways to go. Not too, too bad. But um, one of these bridges is where I saw that little think it was a corn snake um, so I'm still keeping my eyes out but again that looks kind of scary maybe that's a good thumbnail but yeah man this is a pretty cool place oh see I don't like that big huge spider web right there very well could have walked right into that that would have not made me a happy camper I can tell you that much um, I know I have my face thing on but still I would have known that it was on me and I probably would have had a little meltdown uh, this is the biggest one of these things that I've I found um, here's my phone that I just took out uh, that thing is huge dude I have a note 8 like my phone is ginormous what else can I put for comparison that I have in my pocket car keys like you see how big he is it's insane the saying really is true the swamp does come alive at night man I've heard some some pretty crazy noises that have uh, freaked me out a little bit. Not gonna lie. Got maybe a quarter of a mile walk left and uh, I'm still gonna look. I haven't given up yet. Did you guys see that light behind me? And that, oh my God, those are moths. God, that scared me.